Hello friends, my name is Satish Arif and today I am going to tell you about the basics of JavaScript and HTML. So first you have to, so first you have to download an application in which you have to run codes of JavaScript and HTML and CSS. Here you can also run the codes of Python. So this program, this application name is uh, Visual Studio Code, also known as VS Code. You have to write in the in your browser the VS code and here it will give you an output uh, of two links. So you have to click on the first link and it will show you uh, the output like this. So after after clicking uh, after that you have to click on you have to select the uh, either your uh, laptop is Windows a, um, Windows eight ten or eleven or your laptop is Debian or a Ubuntu or your laptop is Red Hat, Fedora, and as you as or uh, either your laptop is Mac, so you have to select that. Uh, uh, what is your? Uh, uh, you have to select the. Uh, you have to select the software of the of your laptop. Now after that you have to click on the. Uh, you, have, uh, you, have, you have to select the bit of your laptop. Uh, like uh, my bit is 64 so, and uh, your bit will be uh, 32 it will, uh, you will have to click on 32 if your bit will uh, if you uh, if you're working on arm so you, uh, you have to click on arm so so after this uh, after uh, so after this you have to click on the download button and uh, you have to select the file to download uh, so you, um, make sure to do, uh, download it on a file uh, will be a better not do, uh, either than uh, downloading uh, this file downloading this application on the desktop or download so here i will click here uh, and when you, i will open here it will show you the welcome page so yeah you have to simply know that welcome page and then here, here you have to yeah, close that welcome page now you have to go on the explorer and you have to click, click uh, Create a new file on the file you have, uh, you have downloaded this uh, software. So I will, uh, yeah, I will, and we'll click on this new file option. It will show you an output like this. Now I will write, uh, write them a file name. So you have to write here index.html for the first file. Index.html. And, uh, and you have to create another file. Uh, which name will be index.js uh, to uh, and then to access this code you, you like this access this only two lines or uh, simple two lines of code you have to create uh, you have to write here uh, exclamation mark which is an emit abbreviation for this code and when you will and press the enter it will show you the an output like this now you have to uh, give a title of the docu of the web page by your uh, by your choice. So I am writing here simply practice uh, practice work. Uh, after writing uh, this practice work, uh, I will. Uh, after writing this practice work, you have to create here. Uh, have to write a uh, script those uh, script colon uh, src in your keyboard, and then it will create an uh, output like this. And then inside this uh, two symbols, you have to uh, write here. Uh, index dot js. You have to provide the file name from which you have to connect this file. I I, I want to connect this file from index.js. And if you want to give one heading to your uh, web page, you have to simply write here x1 and that now you have to close this tag and it will create another tag. And between these two tags, you have to write uh, the uh, heading of this heading of the this web page. So I, I will Simply uh, write the heading of this web page as practice work. I will copy and paste this code and uh, and now I will move to index.js. So here I will explain you about JavaScript control API, 
JavaScript variables, multi-line comment, and uh, string and num numerical value. So there are uh, there are three ways to uh, write log in JavaScript. First is console dot log, which uh, will write, simply write a log in the console menu. So what is console menu? I will show you. Uh, you have to uh, to to see the output. You have to like download here a server, which um uh, you have to download here a server from the extension which name is live server. So uh, after downloading this server, uh, you have to close this server. When you have, it, you will uh, and then after downloading this server, you, uh, it will show it will show you a page like this. You have to open this. Uh, Open this and it will show you like this. Live server and it will show you the information about the live server. And uh, here and it will also show that you have to you want to activate you have activated it or or, or not. After that you have to uh, click you have to right click and you have to select uh, open with live server. It will uh, open a practice box in it will create a website which uh, which title will be practice work and which heading will be also practice work. So now I will right click and I will uh, open inspect element and now I will go to console. And here I will, you can see here I have written hello world. And uh, console dot one gives you the warning. Uh, uh, it, it uh, gives you the warning in the control menu. So, like here, you uh, here it will give you the warning. What uh, whatever you have written inside the uh, inside this. So I written here. Watch the video till end. So you can write any other warning. Uh, so so it will give you a warning like this. Watch the video till end. Now uh, to give an error message, it will uh, it uh, there's a console dot error uh, which logs an error in the console menu. So here I so here I here I have create uh, so here it's like here it will create uh, right here uh, error find. So uh, I want to change it error find. Uh, now uh, now we will. I um, uh, move to JavaScript variables. Wait a, uh, wait a second. I am. Then uh, what is JavaScript variables? Variables are containers which store the da uh, data values, like uh, number, numerical values, string values, and other. So here, yeah, we will write where uh, uh, it will create here a variable. Uh, you can create a you can create a variable by writing this where. So where create an variable after that uh, after the where you have to write the name of that variable and then it equals to and then you have to uh, store and uh, you have to write the data which you have to store in this uh, variable. So here I want I want to show this. Uh, I I want to show five in this variable, and here I, in the number two I I in the variable number two I want to show here forty five in the in this variable. So forty five plus sixty five is equals two hundred. So console dot log number one plus number two. It means it will uh, log. Uh, uh, it will uh, write here a log on uh, control log uh, which in, uh, is number one plus number two. Uh, after this, uh, after it will, uh, so uh, after this, you have to here, create here a column. And uh, so you will think uh, so sometimes I'm writing this column, or sometimes I'm not writing this column. So there's no, uh, there no, uh, uh, you can sometimes, uh, you can write this colon or some, and sometimes you cannot, uh, they, they, it is not necessary. But to make your, 
but to make your uh, quotes uh, look good i i am using this column uh, then i then i will move to multi line comment so how you can do multi line comment so there are two ways like i uh, first you have to uh, uh, write here dash and then you can uh, create here star and you have to write a line and then you have to uh, you have to uh, uh, write here star and uh, then dash so this is the first way and second way is uh second way is okay. you have to ctr uh, plus dash is the second way of creating multi line comment so uh, select the line in which you have to get a multi line comment so here i i will select this line and then i will press here ctr plus dash so it will create here a multi line comment so comment uh, comment uh, if it like there are two types of comments so first is primitive the uh, data type and check this reference data type we will uh, talk about detail uh, about these two uh, data types in javascript uh, in the second in, in the second uh, in the part 2 video so for till that time bye bye and we uh, like and subscribe the video so we will meet again about uh, um, we will meet again uh, so bye bye